blood thicker than water Only in certain cases You need water to live You learn that in the basement I hate using the word friend and shit, but if I had to apply that, Mooch is my best friend, period. Mooch is my best friend. There's no other, no other person I could really apply to in that essence, you know what I'm saying? The good and the bad, because the good and the bad comes with anything, you know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of you motherfuckers, relationships crumble, because y'all only want to see the good and deal with the good in somebody. You got to deal with the bad. He deal with all of the extra shit that comes with me. I deal with the extra shit that comes with him because it's a part of him and it's a part of me. That's love. That's a bond. You deal with that shit. Yeah, man. Aces, man. You already know, man. It's right here. It's where Aces started. I mean, it's complex right here. You know what I'm saying? It's complex. It's complex taught niggas a lot, man. You know what I mean? Me and Riggs, we wrote a lot of raps. Taught me, I used to have this JR Ryder flow back in the day, you know what I'm saying? With this dipset shit. I used to be a dipset fanatic, you know what I mean? Nigga taught me how to stop rapping like JR Ryder and actually rap like myself. All right here, man. Slap box, we did all that. I remember niggas try to, uh, <laughs> I remember niggas try to pull a jook over there. Saying, like, one time. I ain't saying that one. I ain't saying that one neither. Um. With the joint, niggas had the 50 cal, right? Yo, the shit we found out when we go do the junk, that it was a fucking musket, bro. We couldn't even load this shit up. And the shit, you have to screw the top of the shit, take the nozzle shit off, pull it out. And then you had to stuff it with gunpowder. We ain't know. It was big, it looked like an automatic, it was black. <laughs> we ain't even know how to shoot the shit. We thought it was on, you know what I'm saying? I was 15, 16, ain't no no better. So I'm pants legging it. At that time, I was pants legging everything that I could grab. So I'm walking, I'm fucked up. I'm like, yo, Moose, we need a car. We get a car, man, we can get you some money. Moose picks up this big stick looking metal shit on the side of the road. You want a car? I'm about to get you a car. He flies off. Walks right up to this dude like a block up. <clears throat> Backs out the stick like it's a gun. Get the fuck out, da 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 da. He turns around. I got you a call, Riggs, let's go. Son don't ran in there with the keys, all that. Booch ain't thinking about none of that. But just off the strength, you know what I'm saying? This is where it started, but it also went other places, man. Staying in basements, sipping E and J. You know what I mean? LaShawn the basement. What up, LaShawn? You know what I mean? So, we don't we'll need your basement no more, baby, but thank you. Hope you're doing well. Gotta bump into you. But, uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. He came over in the cab or whatnot. I come outside because I had mad commotion. I jump out the basement or whatever from the stairs. I see a little A-Rap dude, he got a little 25 on him or 380, something like that. It was a little chrome joint, it looked shitty, probably would have jammed, but whatever. So, all I know is Mooch is high as fuck, his eyes is bloodshot, he's standing looking like this at him, I'm like, oh, he on some shit, Mooch on some shit, I bet you he is. So the, the A-Rap dude like, you didn't pay me nothing. Man, I gave you my 20, this nigga trying to dab me on my 20. I know I gave him this 20. I'm like, Moose, man, sure you paid this, man. Because Moose get high, man. He get very high. He's, his lungs is A1. Smoke with the best stuff. Pay me. But the, the uh, A-Rap dude start fronting like he was about to pull it. So we, we kind of got on some shit with him. Like, yo, listen, man. I, Put that little shit away, you know what I'm saying? He looking a little pinoid. Moose wanna hook off on him. I got my hand like this. Cause you never know, fear might make somebody clap. That's, that's how I go sometimes. I thought of some quick shit on the fly. I looked up at the window of the house. I came out, said, yo, nah, put it down. Put the gun down, he good. a rap looked up. He thought it was about to get real crazy. I shim shammed him. He jumped in that V. And I don't think Moose gave him shit, still to this day. And Moose just say that he gave him the 20. I don't think Moose gave him shit. Moose smoked a good ass bag off of Hudson, probably, man. That's when Saba was in his prime. 550 ounce. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, uh, <clears throat> hands down, I love Moosh, man. You gotta make me bleed about him, period. That's just what it is. We can have our ups and downs no matter what. And that, and that goes with anybody that I can shit out of love or family. You can't speak on them. You can't talk about them. You can't do any of that shit actively around me. Whatever I go through with any of my family, it stays within that. We bounce back, we get stronger, we understand more about each other, off differences, and we grow higher, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But yeah, definitely though, man. Aces, man, you gotta know who your mans is. You gotta know, you gotta know your friends just as intimately as you know yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, you can't consider them your aces, man. It take time, it take experience, it take patience, and it take love, yo. Peace. Hey yo, cream, cash room and everything around me, cream, cash room and everything around me, cream, cash room and everything around me, cream, yeah, cash room and everything, everything, cream, cash room and everything around me, cream, yo, cash room and everything around me, cream, cash room and everything around me, cream, cash room and everything, even in this block. And it's like. She transition, she sparked a change in me that I don't think I ever would have found living if she was living, should I say. She's still living now, just not in physical. When she passed, I question everything. God, death, life, health, my morals, my emotions. She is truly why I'm a free thinker now. She was the first one to put me in that phase and that mindset to believe nothing but search. And I did. Like, she passed from health issues or whatnot. She had all time as in dementia. She was starting to forget people. With it. She was on so much fucking medication. And these is all things that if I knew what I knew now, I could have healed her. I could have helped her. So she's truly the reason why I am how I am now as far as the electric shit, the way I eat. Though I wish she was here in the physical form, I truly believe if she didn't transit. Like, even in the passion, she was the ultimate teacher, the ultimate push, the ultimate motivation. And I just owe for that, you know what I'm saying? I owe. When you get people that care deeply for you like that, and you don't pay it forward. The worst kind of cow. Watch it, watch your motherfucking mouth, nigga. Watch it, watch your motherfucking mouth. Yo, mouth yo. Man, listen, man. We gonna show up. And I ain't that that. That's a fucking fact, though, man. And like, I need something out of it, though, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, like we ain't coming for nothing. Hope you change ain't fake. Feel me? Your little, your little rich wedge and all that, like, know what I'm saying? That bitch sound good, though. Yeah, nigga. Southside shit. Most got a slump shit, nigga. <laughs> Feel me? We done seen the vultures. We done seen the rats. <laughs> We need that money, nigga.
Hey yo, it's a lot of niggas talking, but they ain't gonna say a lot though. You heard? They ain't gonna say too much. You feel me? Go cross their fucking mouth with a gun. Man, I don't need man listen, man. I got a lot of shit though. Part episode two, man. We <laughs> <laughs> look. Sends the uh, the box, the grimy box, which is what I was telling him. Right, you know right. what I mean? It it levels it all out, right? I'm telling you, that's why he always do at least one of them shit. I need them. I need yeah, them to do all. He need to do more, right? Yeah, yeah. that type of shit. That's that's a fact, though. I never, I don't know. I never really thought about it like that. That shit crazy. That's how you get in the tap with the young crowd. They like the one thing you want to have. It's, like, it's like a mix of the New York grimy shit on compromise, but at the same time, it still got the updated like, you know what I mean? My body, I can't that's control. You if I sit down times, yeah. the whole session, that shit that, was that no shit was, it's, it's a good secret to know. Just so you be like, yo, get this nigga out of here, man. You might like this one too. <laughs> so, Rich don't have to, bro. You're so, you're so electric. <laughs> <laughs> electric shit, for real. That's what content you was gonna say then. Sucking my thumb. 
chupa means suck in Spanish. So I guess I suck in real life. Um, say, no. say, 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 but I ain't a sucker. Though. But I ain't a writer, but I ain't a sucker though. Exactly, exactly. Nah, that, that shit just, that just stuck with me growing up. That's what all my, you know, my mom, my brothers, my dad, they all call me that. My grandma hate that shit though. Shout out my grandma. <laughs> How, how long you knew Riggs and how, yeah, how long you knew Riggs? Man, I, yo, I started fucking with Riggs when I was like 19, right? Right? I was living on, um, <laughs> where I was living at? I was living on, um, I was living with my boy and I had him pull up. I remember that shit. I was in the room and everything. Yeah. Shitty ass speakers. You remember that shit? Mm -hmm. It was like one speaker. My he son had that. That shit for four miles, like five years later. First beat. Right, that's a fact. That's crazy. Five years later, end up using the beat that I gave him when I was 19. Been at it for a minute, man. For real. Sometimes it go good, sometimes it go bad. If you really ever dabble, shit happens. Whoa. It happens, and that's with anything. Whoa, Business, weed, whatever. Angry. Shit gonna go left, Whoa. shit gonna go right. Whoa. Man. One one thing I learned is that consistency, man. You know what I'm saying? You stay at something long enough, man. Shit gonna work out, man. No matter what evils is done, man. Swear it up. That's a fact. Because <laughs> that's the nature of a hustler is to bounce back. It's a fact. If, if you ain't got it in you to bounce back, figure out a solution, you're not a hustler. You're just selling something or you're just doing something, you know what I mean? And wow. That's what the fuck it is. Wow. So don't go killing no poppies, man. You heard? <laughs> I ain't splitting no floor, leave <laughs>